Hello, hello. Oh, damn, it's... Pit 42. Hello, hello. How are y'all doing? How are you doing? We back in the alchemy. We're actually not lost in the alchemy sauce itself. Um, <laughs> that's going to be for the final uh, alchemy session or final... Uh, or final, or final big craft. It's almost lunch. Hell yeah. It is almost lunch, that's true. But uh, we're gonna keep making progress in this story now that we have stuff done. I actually played a little bit off stream. I didn't get much done, but I actually figured out two of the problems we were having at the end of yesterday. I figured out two of the problems we were having yesterday, yesterday and I didn't solve them. I was wandering around just kind of opening, uh, cause you know how like we're finding uh, chests out in the world and that's where we've been finding a lot of recipes? I figured that that's most likely where like certain recipe were missing, certain recipes were missing are, and I was right. So I did find, let's get these quests done real quick, I did find the radiant plate recipe. Just in one of those random overworld chests. Um, the supply points, that's what they're called. Uh, so we're gonna get this done. We need to make three of them. We need to make them, uh, we need to make some bestial ever before we can make them. Mage's rope, what is this? Who just says damage taken and knockback received? Okay, so it's armor. That's mark of assistance though, and I like that. Okay, back to back to scrolling down. Bestial air, here it is. But yeah, I literally just found this in one of the supply points. I figured that's where it was. Um, I think I even said something about that like last time we played, but... I don't know, I just kind of wandered around until I found it. That really all there is, that's all there was to it, so... trying to like raise the value of it because if I do it'll make this easier to craft the thing oh I don't have to make the thing good though what am I doing okay, let me scroll back up but yeah we accidentally found uh, what we were needing so that's all good now. Yeah, so it goes sometimes. I I was kind of like thinking it would be there, so I was just kind of looking off stream because I needed a break from something I was working on. Um, so I figured I would just boot up the game and look around. only makes one. Is there a way I can get, like, quantity increase? Quality increase. I do not have any quantity increase. Huh. Oh, you can duplicate things. Once again, I'm sitting here overthinking something very simple. Yeah, wonder. Let's like find the, the item slash NPC. I mean, to be fair, it wasn't hard. It did not take long. Um, it was not a difficult find. 
It's just because we spent most of the game ignoring those. That's kind of why it became a problem. Because I didn't have, like, adventure keys for the longest time. I was ignoring them. Because they, like, I wasn't trying to get adventure keys. I was just trying to get nothing but alchemy keys for a bit. Where is it? Here it is. All right, radiant plate. How do I get out of here? Here it is. That's reportable now. And the other thing is where the hell do we find any wyverns? And while I was messing around, I remembered these guys here who let us like practice fighting like other enemies. So I was just messing around bored. Let's harvest these. And I accidentally figured out that because this little guy here lets you change these into rematches with uh, enemies and bosses that you fought in the past. You can literally just go in here. We can change this. We can use him to change this guy into like the bro the boss we fought prior, like forever ago. That counts as a wyvern, and it actually makes the number. Of, it actually counts as like us getting into a fight with a wyvern, because I accidentally filled that up by one while messing around trying to think it through. I did not mean to do that. Um. So if we just do another one of these, we'll have that party quest done. I accidentally chose it with like a gimmick and I don't know what's happening. Well, whatever it is, this works. There we go. Now we have key enforcer done. He wants us to make his ultimate weapon use the Lyse Divider. Um, we can wait on that until we're actually making everyone's ultimate weapons. Because all that's left for the quest for us to do is to try and turn in the Kirken fruit again and deliver the radiant plates. It is very silly and convenient. I do like it. I am a fan. Alright, let's go to Wendell. These things. I was opening these. Speaking of which, we should open another one. Because we have the um, supply quality in uh, quantity increase. Oh, I thought it was... I had one for the longest time that was quantity or quality increase. And I was using that one. Uh, which I think, like, guaranteed we get a recipe or something. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. All I know is I was using one that said that and I kept on getting recipes every time. Not here. I was doing it in a different part of the world until I didn't anymore, and then I went to another part of the world until I didn't anymore. I don't think it makes a difference, but I think it... Oh, well, I didn't think it makes a difference, but I think it does, actually. I think there's, like, different loot pools depending on what region you're in, which makes sense, right? I didn't do it for long, so I don't think I have every loot pool done, but... There we go, and the game's letting us uh, turn in the Kirken fruit. Probably because I just reset the game. This is... So, what do you think? 
Mm, it's so good. I've never had such fresh fruit before. If you ever feel like visiting my island, let me know. Uh, let me know anytime. And Boz would definitely want to show you around the island. Boz? Oh, uh, right. I remember that Kirken Island is Boz's home too. True. Oh, it sounds like you're more interested in Boz than Kirken Island. Indeed. I want to know what kind of environment Boz was brought up in. Oh, and that's what I meant. I thought you were looking forward to Boz showing her around. What kind of feeling does Kilo have for Boz anyways? In any case, she's interested, that's for sure. That much is good. It may not be as nice as Kirken fruit, but I have this. Please take it. Oh, that's Kilo talking. Oh, whatever. We got the recipe for Lost Alucard. He got lost. Someone needs to help him. He doesn't know how to get home. What is an alchemist but a miserable little pile of secrets? Right, let's turn in this quest. Now we know how to make radiant plates. El f f a fiesto, a festio, a festio. <laughs> I can't read that. Word too hard. Word sound, word sound like it from other language. Me can't read. Oh no. I think this is a way we can get up there. I think this is the one. Yeah, it's the one just north of the Atelier. Yeah. I need to remember it by that. That it's the one just north of the Atelier. That's a good way to remember it. I'm sorry, did a new quest just appear? What the fuck? Where is it? A new quest just appeared, and I don't know where- Oh, it's down here at the- God damn it. And that's like a normal quest, not the random quest that just appeared. The, like, the gold marker is like a- like a full-blown- This is a quest with like a script and shit. Alright, well, we've already climbed this thing, so let's get this cutscene and then we'll go there. Alchemist Rosalind Stout, the one that the code of the universe has sought. Y yeah? I have traveled along with you and the others to make sure of it, of how to deal with their temptations. You also said the request about the past was a test. Yes, that was the consensus of my clan. We wanted to s see what you would, uh, what you would think when you saw that what Orem and Felucia are doing now. Just as expected. Just as I suspected. So we've been secretly observed as we were intruders from the other world. You are impatient and think the worst. As I said, we let those who need to go through, go through. So what was the test all about? Whether you are worthy of trust or not, that is what was being determined. Is this used for alchemy? It is a simple crystal ball, but it looks strange. It is dim and cloudy inside. Light spots the size of grains of sand floating around like stars in the sky. I heard it's called the chart of another sky. Chart of another sky. 
つらとの最後の戦においてレイン戦術師が残していた落とし物よ。The alchemist left this behind in the last battle against them. じゃあこれは万象の大帝一派が錬金術で作った道具なの So, this is、uh, something made with alchemy by a member of the Code of the Universe. Yes, apparently, it is used to guide people to the Code of the Universe. By combining several devices, a gateway to the Code of the Universe can be opened. Why are you giving this to Ryza now? The investigation into the Dragon Bane and the passage is coming to a close, right? Then we must prepare the next task in order to get closer to it. The way to the code of the universe. The closer I feel like we are getting to the answer, the more afraid I get. Since this is such an important piece, there were many concerns among the clan about entrusting you with this. So that is why I needed to set up a test. The task for the Bird's Pass was for the, was for the Wave Tuner clan to see Ryza's stance towards them. What are you going to do, Ryza? Do you have any ideas? Reza, are you okay? You've heard the voice a few times, right? Yes, but I feel like this is a sign that we are close to the answer. Maybe we need to try teleporting again to see. Anyways, thank you, Kala. I'm still concerned about that voice. I hope I can, I can help you find a solution, Reza and Stout, the honest alchemist. By the way, when do you think you're planning to leave? <laughs> Kala, I feel like you're planning on coming with us again. I I love Kala. <laughs> She's pretty good. Quests, the bond with Fi. I like Fi. And to the Fairy Garden of Salt. That's where the quest is. That's where like the normal ass quest is. Did that make any other, like, normal-ass quests appear? No. It did not. Good. To beat up anything that appears. It's still a little lonely here. Hey, Fee. Soon, there will be enough fairies of solace gathered in this garden to quiet the dragon storm. If I can create something that allows Fi to spend more time in our world, we can be together again, right? Well, I am not sure if it could ever come true. It would be a ways off. Oh, your necklace is coming apart. You could say it shows how hard your journey was to get here, but... Oh, could I borrow this, uh, that for a second? I'll synthesize something nice and strong with this. <laughs> I 
Faya, looks like you're doing a great job. I'm glad. As I remembered, I was worried you'd forgotten about us. Hey, you... Why do you keep going on my head? I see the mo it's the most comfortable places for fires on top of Baza's head. Come to think of it. I had rarely seen them together, but it seems like it was always this way. You don't have to remember things like this. Very funny. You're annoying. I wasn't with Ryza and the others, so I don't know the details of how you left. So I had to leave you in a strange place without saying a word. Yet you always remembered me. Oh, are you the one who gives us the quest? <laughs> Is Fi the quest giver? <laughs> Do you have a quest for me, you tiny little rat? <laughs> This fucking little ass chinchilla. Yeah, just like Chopper in law. Pretty much. I wouldn't be surprised if that was where if that was like referencing that. Just considering the other references I've found to not One Piece, but like other things in this game. <laughs> what well, what is it, Fi? You seem frantic. Right, one second. Based on your speech and gestures. There are Felucia, no, not just Felucia, but some super strong Felucia nearby, right? I got it, leave it to me. We'll have them dealt with in no time. Eyes appeal. It's all the way up there. It's like a whole ass walk to get there though. Right, let's go do that quest for fire real quick, and then we'll go, um... We will also go, uh, do the thing. The main quest, which is also to do a thing for five. Okay, it's just up here. Is it the big monkey? Are we fighting monkey? I think we're fighting monkey. Alright, and then you finish him off with some of these. No more monkey. I'm changing my party. I want a team that's faster. Alright, we got that done. Shiny necklace recipe. We learned how to make the shiny necklace. We also learned how to make a fiesta and a lost alu card. What is a man? Alright, what, what is the things that we just learned? Usually it's weapons. I've noticed that it's usually weapons that we're learning to make. Usually it's ultimate weapons lately. Oh. There's the Fiesto, which, yep, exactly what I was thinking. It's Tao's ultimate weapon. Ooh. Increases chance to inflict status. This is like one, also one of the main reasons why I'm not like doing the final alchemy grind yet. Because we do not have the recipes for everyone's ultimate weapon yet. Increases chance to inflict status effects and increases damage to targets 
Inflict it with stat strikes. Okay, so it just scales up his, like, gimmick even harder. I'm okay with that. And Mark of Assistance. Interesting. I mean, that's a good... That's just good. That's just generically good for him. It also it can put in magical things, which means that this will be very easy to make. So we can load this with Philosopher's Stones. Just put one here. One here. And then the rest we can just dump in a shit of the Grand Organs. Tao's gonna be one of our best damage dealers just based on that alone. I think here with jewels, right? Like, they can get like some good effect spread stuff. At minimum, the Arc NCL. Oh, nope, Philosopher's Stones. Okay, Patty's gonna have a good one too. Oh, there it is. Lost Olive Card. What does his do? Increases damage dealt and reduces weight time according to current tactics level. Okay, cool. Very simple. Let's make the shiny necklace. Boom. Okay, this is looking good to go. It should be much tougher now. You're really spoiling that fairy of solace, you know. It seemed fine looking so weak. We thought he would die in our world so many times. And we feel bad about the fact that we sort of used his power to our advantage to explore the ruins back then. So, we'll spoil Phyla as much as we can. And that's that. <laughs> Good justification. It seems your bond runs deeper than I imagine. Thank you all for being so patient with my wild ideas. No need to thank us, you were doing it for Fi. Not just for Ryza, we wanted to do what we can for Fi too. Because Fi is one of us. Let's go get this to Fi. Come on. I apparently can't do her voice at all this morning. See, that's the fun thing with, like, me starting my day with stream, is, uh, there's just a good chance that I can't fucking, I just can't, I just can't do voices. Sometimes. But other times I can. It's very fun, because we get to, like, play the gamble game. We get to roll a die, and it's like, hey, what do we sound like today? What is my capable voice range this morning? B, we brought you a new necklace. Here you go. I don't know how you don't fucking lose that thing. Oh, it looks so good on you, Fi. Guess you sense this is goodbye for a while. <laughs> I'm just not going to say anything. <laughs> it doesn't take magical powers to understand that for either of us. Hey, fine. This necklace isn't some alchemist's tool. It's just an ordinary accessory. But we don't need that kind of power. This is our bond. It's okay. You see? We're connected.
Oh, we gotta deliver the other quest. The tail flu are all gone, so you don't need to worry anymore. You're more than welcome. Are you trying to give me a reward? I never expected a reward from you, Fi. I'm so, happy. I'm so happy. Thank you. If you ever need help again, let me know. Ooh. Got a Fi doll for the uh, Atelier to decorate it with. Cool. Alright, we got any other quests? We do. We have a quest right up here with, uh, what's her name again? Okay. I could do that. Wonderful. Kilo, do you like flowers? Yeah, they are very pretty, and they smell nice. And you barely see them in the underworld. Ah, right. In the underworld, even a tiny flower like this is special. Yeah, so when I am enveloped in the scent of flowers like this, it takes me to a happy place. The Wave Tuner Clan has such a nice flower bed. If only we had one in the sanctuary. Mm, well, I can't make a flower bed, but if it's the scent you're after, I have an idea. Really? If you can do something, please do. Uh, whatever it is, it's reportable. Frozen sets, that makes sense. Here you go. What is this scent? Oh right, it doesn't exist in this world. It's the scent of a flower from our world. It's sweet smelling, isn't it? Wow, you have such nice flowers in your world, Riza. I'm just happy to hear you like it. You just need a single spritz on yourself and the scent will last all day. Try it out. Kila's wearing perfume. I'm sure Boz's reaction would be interesting. I interesting? Boz? Oh, it's nothing. If you ever need more, just let me know. Got a clairvoyance monocle. Alright, we're gonna head to the Dragon's Passage. Back to the overworld. Okay, we good to go. Yeah. I intend to stay here in Windle for a while. Feel free to come see me if you ever feel like it. For sure. I plan to come back again and again. That's good to hear. Oh wait, right. Underworld is an endgame here. <laughs> We're trying to find code of the universe. If you got something to say, just come out with it. Nah, no, I'm too embarrassed to say. You. Quiet, both of you. First, we need to head back to Kirken Island and check out the chart of another sky, right? It's a device made by the code of the universe. After all, I'm not sure if I can do much more than just a little research. But anyway, if it is one of the biggest clues we have, if we are going to solve the mystery, we have to look into it. Yeah, that's what worries me. Anyways, I guess I'll have to teleport and see what happens. I'll try to lend you my knowledge. I would also be happy to help you get there. I knew you would follow. No, it's okay. Back to Kirken Island! 
It's been dizzying ever since we started using teleportation. It feels weird to travel somewhere without actually going on a trip. When, when we do go outside, it's either we're gathering or exploring. Is there anything wrong with that? Not necessarily, but it makes me wonder. Are we traveling together or...? Living together. No, it's nothing. <laughs> Maybe it will all feel like one big trip when we think back on it later. I see. I hope these memories will conclude with a happily ever after. But of course, it's too early to be thinking about the end. We don't even know where the stronghold is. Hi, Theron Keen. Hello, hello. You're just making progress. How you doing? Shall we head off? Hmm? And for the thousandth time, let's go back to Kirken Island. That really is how it feels for the thousandth time. Let's go back to Kirken Island. <laughs> May the blessings of the sun and the guidance of the moon follow you all. Hell yeah, one day off of work. That is a good day. And next we're gonna go back to the Kark Isles. Let's just make sure there's no new quest that popped up. I just got done with my days off and I'm not happy about it. <laughs> and by days off, I mean like both of mine for the week, but they were spread out. So it didn't even feel like really much. I need to clean. Like that's the part that sucks is I need to clean. I still can't go down here. Why can I still not go down here? Should we try? Should we try to go down there? See if we get blocked off again? Last time we were told no. You know what? Screw it. Let's try to go down again. Let's see if the game will let us. Before it just wouldn't. I don't know why. But maybe now because we're trusted or whatever. Maybe now it'll let us explore downwards. It's driving me nuts that we still have part of the map that we can't finish filling in. This is the wrong turn. No, no, we're going south. South of here. Activate. We still need to activate the other half, but that's a start. Also, I think it's letting us down here. I think we got stopped, like... I think we got stopped like earlier on last time, so. I think the game's actually letting us go down here now. I think we just needed to get like closer with the uh with the people that lived here. What were their name? The Orin. So let's get all this progress in. A character moment over here as well as world quest and a landmark so yeah we're gonna take a break to do some side questing incredible how many weapons are there amazing some of these don't look damaged at all we also threw things in that simply had left uh, they had simply left behind here 
This is great and all, but how do we get this home? Well, uh, hauling it home, then finding out it's not useful, and we'd have to come back again would be a pain. Then let's have the youths help out. We can at least recover stuff from the bottom of the valley. I'll have them set up a salvage tent at once. What? Wait, what's the next step here in the world quest? Take a one day uh, break and head to the Valley of the Abyss. Okay. Well, let's get this fast travel point before we go back and take the one day break. We're gonna complete this world quest. There it is. Let's activate the other part of the zipline. So now that can zip to that. Now that we have both halves engaged. I was just thinking. No, don't do that. Do you remember the nursery rhyme that was passed down in our village? The one that goes Devil's Field to the West, Dragon's Castle to the East. Of course. How could I forget? What about it? Yes, the gate to the underworld is the Dragon's Passage. That is, the pathway for the dragon to cross worlds, right? I was thinking, could the Meteor Castle on Kirken Island be it? You don't see dragons. That's big very often in the world we live in. Yes, we do see small and medium-sized dragons, but it's rare to see one that big. I heard that it was summoned, but from where? I was a little curious about that. Are you saying that the dragon summoning device itself was actually a type of passage? No, no, God, don't do that. Uh, that summoning device emits waves to call out specific monsters. To summon monsters within the range. It wouldn't be surprising if the waves reached a dragon in a neighboring world. That is, the underworld, and summoned it. That would mean that the summoning device is temporarily creating a gate to summon the object. Wouldn't that be an extraordinary technology? Yes. Nevertheless, the fact that humans can artificially create a gate is quite something. I wouldn't be surprised if by anything at this point. But I'm amazed at the flexibility of your ideas. I never would have thought the passage and a summoning device were the same thing. But if that were true... It's a horrible story for the dragon. It would be forced to re be recalled to the land where it finally rested, its wi old wings to fight. It seems that the summoning device must be destroyed, so that it um, will never be activated again. I agree. It is unforgivable to disturb the final rest of an old dragon. Sure. Wait, no, I want this fast travel point. You're just one of them there mono life. Whoa, it looks big from a distance, but up close, it's even more impressive. It is. But it looks like this tower has no entrance. But of course, as Ryza said, it was built to be seen from a distance. In this world, there are no cities or towns like in your world. We only have small villages built by clans. I see. So, some travelers with no familiarity with the land may even notice the presence of the villages. And that is why this thing exists. There are clan villages around this tower. So, when villagers visit other clans, they can use it as a sign and feel a little safer. That sounds interesting, like treasure hunting. Sure. But when you look closely, the tower is full of cracks. Is this safe? Well, it must be made of a common ore, so if it's neglected, it will collapse, naturally. 
This huge thing will collapse? It's super dangerous. Since we're here, we'll reinforce some critical parts. Yeah, it's made of common ore, so let's gather the materials. 